Welcome back to my channel, Moon Girl Tarot. It's your girl, Chris Marie, back with another weekly astrological and tarot report for January 8th through the 14th. Now, this is an, a very exciting week. We have the new moon in Capricorn, so we have new influences and tangible results that are coming with this hard work. We have Mercury changing signs into Sagittarius that is going to help elevate this manifestation thinking. And we do have a square in Neptune that is blocking some of these dreams, especially from outward people. But let's go ahead and take a closer dive into your week this week. If you would like to get a personal reading to find out more about what's happening to you, please go to my website at moongirltarot.com. Let's get started. Welcome Aries Sun and Aries Rising. Let's go ahead and get into your week for January 8th through January 14th. Now, Mercury is in Sagittarius. This is going to elevate our ways of thinking, okay? This is gonna set you outside of the box. And if you really feel like you are trying to manifest something greater, a huge change, then you are right on the same path. And if you are feeling that you are worried or nervous or afraid of the future, well, my friend, hopefully this reading will help you out. Square Neptune in Pisces. What this means is that you're going to be having some of those blocks be coming here forward, and we'll understand a little bit more going into the week. And then we have the new moon in Capricorn, January 11th or January 12th, depending on where you are. And this energy is really going to help. The Mars in Capricorn gives us a lucky break that everybody deserves, especially you, Aries. Okay, let's go ahead and dive right on in and see what is the overall theme, right? What is the overall theme that you might be experiencing this week? And thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing. All of the interaction definitely helps out this channel so, so much. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. Get that shuffled here for you, Aries. Okay, Aries Sun, Aries Rising, your overall theme for this week. And it's all about lucky breaks, okay? Because we have Mars moving in Capricorn, and Capricorn is the sign of things that are going to turn things into tangible rewards, okay? We have Inner Goddess. That is you, Aries, Aries Sun, and Aries Rising. Let's go ahead and take a look a little bit more of you tapping into that inner goddess, right? That feminine that masculine, that energy in there. And this one says, um, awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciation of your divinity, okay? So really embracing uh, self-love, your energy, where you are and where you want to be. Okay, Aries, uh, let's take a look. Now for your earth sector, for your work and finance, okay? Things that are happening, we have the new moon, in Capricorn, so you're really working on a change, okay? So your Earth sector for your work in finance, we have the Empress, okay? So this is wonderful Venus-like energy, and if anything, you really wanna manifest something to obtain something, okay? You want to have, um, you know, move into another place, into a better place. You're saving for more money, okay? For a child, or maybe you're wanting you know, to, you know, have an actual child. This card comes up even in the earth sector in the sense of things that are tangible, right? New moon, maybe you're thinking about adding to the addition to your family or making changes with family. So when it comes to your earth sector, when you work in finance, when it comes to things that are actually something that you can manifest and have, it is going to be greatly affected you and your children. So it's gonna be something that you're able to not just receive, but give, give back, okay? So this is really good energy. This is really good energy for you, Aries. All right, let's go a little bit further into um, the new moon, okay, in Capricorn. It's gonna be an earth sign. So let's just pull one more card for this earth sector and take a look. What are you trying to manifest? What else do you need to know when it comes to it? Because Aries, the new moon is gonna be in your 10th house, okay? Of public, of career of things that are extremely, extremely important to you. Now, here you are immediately, Aries, uh, when it comes to the new moon, when it's going to be in your 10th house of career. So the page of wands upright indicates that you are gonna have this uh, motivation. You are on the right path of manifesting, working towards that goal, okay? Um, so if it is something that's going to benefit not only yourself, but other people, right? Something, you know, tangible, a house, 
a reward, a bonus, a loan, or something going through, I feel like this is you're going to get good news this week, Aries. So come back and check, especially by Wednesday, Thursday, to find out what is in works, what is what is manifesting, what energy is is coming through. Okay, Aries, when it comes to communication with others, yourself, okay, uh, just messages from the overall universe, what might be coming through, right? It's all tapping into your inner goddess. We have the king of wands reverse, okay? So this energy comes up when we are having all this motivation going through, but the communication is not everybody's on board, okay? And I think a lot of signs are going to experience this, right? Mars and Capricorn is going to give a lucky break to every single sign. And Aries, look where you have Capricorn in your chart and where Mars is in your chart. But the thing about it is, is that Right, Aries, nobody tells you no, right? It's usually like, okay, I'm gonna go create solutions. So even though you're on the right path and things are developing and building, especially to reward yourself and family, not everybody's on board. Now, I said something earlier today and it's truly gonna be my mantra. And I want you to have this mantra, Aries. You can't talk big numbers with small-minded people. You can't talk big ideas with someone who's not going to see the bigger picture. You see what I'm saying, Aries? that communication. So you might get communication of somebody closest to you that is, who's not thinking that these are great ideas. They are great ideas. Keep moving here forward. Okay. All right. So when it comes to your emotions, all right, when it comes to your water, okay, let's take a look at this. There it is. See, holding true, Aries, we have the eight of wands of right. So this means this is communication. This is good news, okay? So emotionally establishing, and this is eight. So this means another person's resource. So I see how this, is week, this week is being played out for you, Aries, is that even though if you stay true to your passions, you stay true to what you're trying to manifest in that path that you're on, even though not everybody is gonna be on your side, on your team, not giving you the best communication, right? It's what you do with it, you're still gonna pull through. Somebody else does believe in you. There is gonna be good news. So like I was saying, hold on through, especially working with this new moon in Capricorn. Now I cast spells, Aries. So if you're wanting to work with me and help manifest this ritual, make sure you go to my website, moongirltarot.com, so I can get that set up there for you. But that's good news that it's emotionally rewarding that involves somebody else's resources, okay? So again, alone, somebody else with work, all this money, uh, it's, it's really coming through and it's really helping, not just the outside resources, but the inside resources as well. All right, Aries, uh, let's go, well, I was about to say, let's go into your fire sector, your passions, your love, okay? And like, let's, let's talk about this. So we have the four of swords upright. So when it comes to singled or coupled Aries, Aries sun and Aries rising, the love department is very, um, they're crickets, right? There's not much going on. If anything, you're still wondering about communication from your other partner, okay? It looks like it's gonna be good news, like we see right here, emotionally rewarding, but it really feels more like work. So I don't want you to jump too ahead here, Aries, but it feels like things are okay, but they're kinda just as they are. Now, Aries, if you focus on the bad news, right? If you focus on the bad news, you're gonna manifest bad news, right? If you focus on things that are okay and things that what you can control, and the things that you're able to do, then it feels like it's gonna come back definitely on top there for you. Okay, Aries, let's go ahead and pull one more card for you. A little bonus round, so I appreciate it. If you made it to the bonus round, can you comment? Yay! Or how much you like this reading, but let's get the overall theme for this new moon, okay? It looks like you're gonna have an abundant week where you're really addressing what's important to you and the choices that you're going to be making about them. Now, it comes here, it says Mother Earth. I love this. You're called upon to help with, you know, with the environment. So Capricorn is an Earth sign. It is about the environment. It's about things making changes. You really are making changes, Aries. Aries Sun and Aries Rising. You are being put in the position to manifest, to have abundance, to have wealth, emotional wealth, and financial wealth as well. 
when it comes to love, it really is a little distracting energy when it comes there. I'm going to be sending you some loving, healing energy, especially so, um, so you can ease up on that. But it sounds like everything else, you got it. All right, Aries Sun and Aries Rising, thank you so much for watching this weekly reading. Come on back next week, and I'll make sure I'll have this here for you, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.